morning, everybody. It's about 7.38 a.m. We're at 81,298 miles. I'm feeling a little bit better today, so we should be good to go. Um, the plan for today, crank out as much as we humanly can because uh, tomorrow I'm going to have to do some uh, work in the morning early because I got to help somebody in my family with some uh, printing and documents and stuff like that because I'm the go-to for that. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not in the position to delegate that to anybody yet. So in the meanwhile, while I'm the bottleneck, I have to get all that stuff done. But it doesn't bother me too much. Um, all that means is that today we're going to be driving pretty, pretty late, which is kind of different from my schedule. But that's fine. We want to get the full 12 in if we can. And that's it. That's what I see myself doing. And then we'll use six hours offline to uh, reset and then we'll begin tomorrow late. So that's what we're going to do because uh, for the next two weeks, I have to do this for uh, two Mondays. I have to be uh, doing stuff for the family. That's fine. I don't mind. Again, it's just you have to be adaptable. So hope you guys have a wonderful Sunday. Let's get it. Well, you can guess where I'm at again. I'm in New Jersey, but we're in the farm part of it. So you can see all the different fields around me, whether it's patches of whatever. I wish I could have recorded a little bit earlier. But yeah, I mean, this part of New Jersey is always pretty. I love seeing all the different farmlands, man. It's such a big setting change, different from like seeing all the city stuff. This is nice, in my honest opinion. Oh, look over here. Whoa. Another. Wow. These are all pumpkins. <gasps> They're all pumpkins. It's a pumpkin patch. Oh, that's cool. Let's go, man. It's almost spooky time. All right, guys. It's that time again. It's 11.02 a.m. We're down to 21 miles. We're going to eat the first half of my egg sandwich, and we're going to start charging the car. Um... If I have passengers and they're not like, you know, I test them out with a couple of questions and they're not really the talkative kind, I'm just gonna switch to Seven Habits of Highly Effective People because that's a book that I'm trying to incorporate into my life. Oh, we're at 20 miles now. But uh, yeah, that's what I'll do to break the ice because we just did a whole hour, 10 minute trip, $60 trip, I got a $20 tip. So I know exactly what I'm trying to do with my time. I just need to keep staying focused on it, that's it. And Again, um, especially after the segment that we just listened to just now, I hope I'm adding some sort of value to your lives. That's it. But other than that, hope you guys have a wonderful Sunday. Let's keep getting it. Well, here we are again, crossing over the bridge, Bridge Street from uh, Trenton over into Pennsylvania again. Again, it's like, you know, we take these long rides that are like $60 all the way into the deep part of New Jersey. And so I set on my destination, just Sesame Place. <laughs> so it takes me about 40 minutes to drive all the way back over here. That's okay. Today I'm going to try to do as much as I can to crank it out. Because here we are back crossing over the Delaware. Crossing back over from New Jersey back into Pennsylvania. Because this bridge, everybody's trying to avoid paying the toll. Because that thing over there is a toll road. So, nope. So here we go. All right, guys, it's 5.01 p.m. We're at 35 miles. We still got about five hours some left of driving left to go. We're still in New Jersey next to this really cool looking mall. It's called the Jersey Shore Premium Outlets. This is got everybody's shopping today because it's sunny. Holy shit. Anyway, let's start charging the car. Um. Uh, I got the last half of my egg sandwich and I'm hanging out here with the homies. Oh, look, Lucy joined us. Let's go, baby. Well, anyway, last half of my egg sandwich and then I'll, uh, I'll chat with you guys in a bit. All right. See you guys soon. So I'm over at like another Simon's Mall. We're at like the Jersey Shore Premier Outlets. I've never been here before. So we're going to see what it's like. We got Crocs in here, Samsonite. It's very interesting. It's kind of cool. I mean, it legit is like a mall, but it's like built with like a roof and everything. Oh, they got Spencer's? Oh, that's funny. <laughs> that is funny.
and we're gonna turn around. <laughs> I'm not gonna stay here for long. I'm actually trying to get the rest of my driving done, but hope you guys are having a wonderful time. Well, late night driving next to the beach. I mean, we're all the way over near Ocean Avenue in New Jersey, and there's like a dude with like a morning of Pickering ride with his house having a gate. I don't know what this is supposed to mean, but I took a little nap. Maybe I'm just dreaming. All right, guys. Um, I just got done dropping off a guy over at this beautiful home. Now, I'm not going to say too much about it because I'm going to get the hell out of here. But Jesus, dude. Okay. So here's basically what just happened. I just had a, sat through a discussion. Like it was like an hour, an hour, 20 minute premiere ride. Like I'm still stuck in New Jersey and I guess I'm in like the richer part of New Jersey. I don't know, but here's basically what happened. Basically, I got to listen in on how this guy was structuring a $250 million deal. Okay. And so it's like, you know, I'm listening him having a conference call with like multiple other people. I guess there were other investors and they're talking about how they're going to be moving capital from like one company that they own holdings in and then another company. It's just wow, man. Just wow. Yeah, it's just casual conversation. I mean, it's just like. I mean, when you're actually like, you know, I, I heard an older dude talking about a $6 billion deal that he's helping like put together. But this one, just listening, this one, crazy, man. Late night, 924 PM Jersey drives, I guess. I don't know. Also, I just want to say that that last ride with it being a premiere ride for an hour, nine minutes, that was the highest amount I've ever earned in one ride ever. $209 for one ride for an hour. Dude, if I can make $200 in one hour, how can I do more of that? That's what I want to go find. Dude, I am so hungry. I'm going to figure that out. Somehow, some way, I'm gonna learn how to make two hundred dollars in one, and just keep trading that up. But two hundred dollars in one hour? What am I doing? Ooh, it's a spooky forest. So there's like the scenic overview that if you drive along the highway. Oh, look at that! You can see the light over the horizon. Well, it's not really a horizon; it's like a hill, well, mountain or whatever you want to call it. But yeah, right next to the highway, it's pretty cool. That's not the light from my phone, by the way. That's the the whatever remaining daylight is still on the over on the other side of that uh, mountain thingy. Oh man, I wish you could see the night sky a little bit clear with this iPhone. Northeast. That's okay. All right, let's go. We shall continue our journey onward because we still got three hours of driving left to go. Yeah, it is. It is pretty cool, honestly. It's pretty cool. Oh, so no, we're not home yet, but I happen to be driving by the supercharger that I was at when I was heading out of uh, when I was heading back home the other day from uh, after having Korean barbecue and sleeping over uh, in the city and then driving all the way back because my just stomach just felt, you know, over bloated. But uh, yeah, here we are. I mean, it's 1035. We're at 125 miles. I just charge a little bit because uh, I still have like three hours of driving left to go. So I'm going to factor in for four hours and then we'll do the final charge closer to home. So I'll probably get us to 80 percent and then we'll just continue the rest of the journey. But here we go. All right, here we go. Crossing over Bridge Street again. Crossing over the Delaware River from New Jersey back to Pennsylvania. It's so dark, you can't see anything. It's just the bridge and me. Dude, it's so eerie. There's like literally nobody here. This is me by myself. 
no cars either way. Like, it's been dead roads, like, this entire time. It's only 11.23 p.m. Not a single soul in sight. Jesus. It's me by myself. Spooky. Well, we continue this solemn solo journey. Here we go, guys. Oh, and I never recorded this area, but you know, it's always busy whenever I come here. So this is called Peddler's Village. They got a lot of stuff that's going on over here. And they had a lot of these uh, scarecrows set up. But uh, yeah, there's like some really cool stuff over here if you guys ever want to come visit. Yep. In 800 feet, turn right. Okay, I'll turn right. You got some pork ribs. Some chamisua. And this is my plate with some brown rice. New record. Thank you guys for riding with me today. This is the highest I've ever made in one day. Hope you guys had a wonderful Sunday. I never want to relinquish my curiosity. Without it, I couldn't ever try anything new or act on new ideas. Today showed me possibility. Weekly recap. This week I was pretty inconsistent, but I definitely took more initiative. I've set my boundaries and now it's time to abide by my own rules. Worst thing I can do is break promises with myself. Then I set a bad precedent.